Welcome! In today's tutorial, we are going to be learning about searching for journal articles through the library homepage and the other databases available to you through the library. My name is Trix, a library student ambassador, and today we'll be covering how to use research subject guides on the Cal State East Bay Library website to find scholarly articles, using Boolean operators and phrase searching to narrow your search results, and how to use the database tools to save your results. To start, go to the library homepage at library.csueastbay.edu. We're starting our search by using the research subject guides created by the librarians at Cal State East Bay Library. You will click on the research by subject button at the top of the page. Locate the study guide that is most closely related to your research topic. For example, I will be researching how art therapy affects older adults, so I will be choosing the Psychology Subject Guide. You will notice a variety of links and resources on the subject guide pages unique to each subject. Subject guides will also have suggestions for which databases are the best to use for your research. Today I will be using Academic Search Complete as it provides articles on a variety of subjects and is a great starting point for any research project. I'm going to start searching for just Art Therapy Older Adults first and see what comes up. The search result only comes up with 20 results, which means we are likely missing out on some results that could be beneficial to us. This is where Boolean operators come into play. Boolean operators are simple words used as conjunctions to combine or exclude keywords in a search, resulting in more focused and productive results. For more information about Boolean operators, check out the video linked in the description. If we go back, we can put art therapy into the first search bar and older adults into the second search bar. I'm going to make sure and is chosen so we see results with both art therapy and older adults in the search. Now we have 141 results. Now you may notice some search results are about therapies that aren't related to art therapy, where results focused on all adults rather than older ones. This is where phrase searching comes in handy. Phrase searching narrows your search results by allowing you to define precisely how you want the words to appear. For more information about phrase searching, check out our video on it linked in the description. In this case, we will put quotes around art therapy and older adults to get the best results for us. Now we are down to 52 results, which is much more manageable to search through. There are a few more ways to narrow your search results even further. First, you will want to limit the results to peer-reviewed scholarly journals, as these are the most reliable and reviewed by experts in their field. You can also set how far back you want your research to go. I will choose any articles in the past 10 years for the most up-to-date results. Then I'm going to narrow it down by language. Personally, I'm only looking to read articles in English, but you can choose more than one if you want. Finally, we have 35 results to choose from. When you find an article that suits your research, you can use the links along the side here to save it how you choose. You can add it to your Google Drive, add it to your Academic Search Complete folder, print it, email it, create a citation, export it into an application like Zotero or EasyBib, or copy the permalink to the search result. To access the journal article, click on the Find It at CSUEB button, which will take you to the library catalog record. From there, click on the link under Full Text Availability to be taken to the full article. I hope this tutorial has helped you with your search for scholarly peer-reviewed articles through the CSU East Bay Library website. If you are interested in searching for books on the library website, check out the Finding Books video linked below in the description. And as always, feel free to set up an appointment with a librarian for more guidance.